Welcome to Technical Drawing. Today we are going to draw copy isometric of this sum. Now if you see length, width and height, see this. This is length, width and height. So this is 80 on left side. Height is 57 plus 20, 77. But the length is 68 plus 36 plus 17.5. So it will be 121.5. So first you will draw length width height layout. We'll start with circles. We'll take midpoint 40. We'll draw a line. Then we'll mark 35. We'll mark center point and we'll draw rhombus. See this, this is 35. Then you draw a line, then you mark center point so it will be like this Then you draw longest diagonal. Then from this point you draw opposite midpoint. This is 1, this is 2, 3, 4, M, M. So from 1 to M we can draw arc. From 2 to M, same radius, we can draw arc. From point 4 to M. And 3 to M. After that, we have to draw diameter 20. So for that, what we need to do? From center again you take 10, 10, 10, 10, see this and you draw rhombus, again you draw circle by 4 center method. Longest diagonal is already there, we can draw, we can join like this. We can write this point as 1, M, M, 2, again 4 and 3. Follow the same method, 1 to M, draw arc, two to M, then 4 to M, and 3 to M. After that, this height is how much? 30. So I can take this circle down by 30. First we will draw this. How much is this? 36 so from center we'll take 36 we'll draw line and we'll take 7 7 on both the sides because it is 14 so from center you take 36 and you take 7 7 on both the sides and then you draw a line like this this won't be there See, now we'll draw this slope. So this height is 20. So I can take 20 from here. See, this is 80. So 80 by 20. Now 
after that you draw a line this is how much 60 then you mark 10 40 10 This height is also 10. Now this is center point, right? So you take 80 divided by 240 and then you take 7 7 on both the sides this is axis line then you take 7 7 on both the sides then you extend this line so you'll get this part see this you extend from here So we got this plate and we can join the slope, see this. This line will be also dark. Now what we need to do, we need to go down by 30. So from here we'll go down by 30. Here also you go down by 20 and from here you extend so you'll get the bottom point from where that slope is connected see this this is how you should draw now to draw this circle you take point 2 and 3 down by and 4 so point 3 down by 30 that is 3 dash Point 0.2 down by 30 that is 2 dash point 0.4 we don't require now take 2 to M and from 2 dash you draw arc same way you take 3 to M and you draw arc This is axis line. You take center point thirty. You take half of this, that was forty eight. So you take twenty four, twenty four. From here also you draw a center line, you mark midpoint and diameter is 16 so you mark 8 8 and you draw rhombus. We'll do the both uh, we will do the same thing on both the sides.
and one uh, tangent is remaining in the upper circle if you see on the left hand side slight small line is remaining so now we are doing circle by four center method see this from here you take midpoint you can write point 1 m m 2 3 4 same on the other side 1 m m 2 3 4 so 1 to m and you draw arc 2 to m and you draw arc Now this height is 10, so you go down by 10, from 2 you go down by 10, you will get 2 dash, see this radius, take this radius and draw this. So this is the accurate one, what I have done previously was 16, I had gone down by 16 or something, so that's why it is looking like that, but this is the correct one. Same way from here also you go down by 10. Take this radius, go down and you draw arc. So I think here also I need to draw. So go down by 10, arc. Here also I have to correct. It will be like this, slightly bigger. Now we'll write origin 30-30 degree and we'll do dimensioning. We'll write length, width and height. Thank you.